Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel Not Only Science. In today's episode we are going to talk about finance. In particular I'm going to show you that there is an interesting connection between the movements of financial markets and the movement of dust. Yes, you heard right, dust, those tiny little particles floating around and causing so many allergy problems to many of us. You have probably already seen dust particles shining in a beam of light, and you probably also notice that the movement of these little particles is completely random. That means, if you could closely follow the path of one dust particle only, you would notice that its direction is always changing, and there is no way to tell in advance its trajectory. The random fluctuation of particles in the air is called Brownian motion, named after the Scottish botanist Robert Brown. Even though Robert Brown discovered this phenomenon in 1827, it was only 70 years later that scientists got interested in this phenomenon and started developing sophisticated mathematical models in order to describe Brownian motion. Even Albert Einstein published three papers on the topic, and eventually he came up with a fully scientific explanation. On a microscopic level, dust particles are surrounded by many air molecules. These air molecules move with great velocity and constantly hit the dust particles, changing every time a little bit their direction. Of course, we cannot see the air molecules because they are extremely small. So, when scientists tried to describe for the first time this phenomenon, it was more or less like trying to commentate a football match with a ball being kicked randomly by invisible players. The solution to this problem is provided by probably the most important theorem of modern statistics, the central limit theorem. Now, without going into mathematical details, the central limit theorem states something like this. If a property is described by the cumulative effect of many random variables, then this property is of course random itself, but in its randomness it follows a very well-known statistic. What does this mean in practice? Since the trajectory of the particle is the result of many random collisions, then we might not be able to say where exactly the particle is going to move, but we can tell for sure which is the probability that a particle would go in one direction or another. Of course, we still cannot be 100% sure about what will happen to the one single particle, but the nice thing about statistics is that if we consider not one but many particles at the same time, the motion of the whole is not random anymore more or less the same way we could describe the movement of a whole swarm without knowing the behavior of the single bees. Ok, enough with the Brownian motion for now. Let's talk about money. We all have seen pictures of Wall Street in the news, in the movies, all these graphs and crazy lines going up and down, and if you ever consider investing in a stock market, you probably already know that there is no equation or algorithm to predict how exactly the stock price is going to evolve in the future. Not in one year from now, not tomorrow, not even in the next minute. After all, it cannot be otherwise. Think about it. If stock prices showed a clear pattern, then investors would find this pattern and exploit it in order to make money. But this way, they would eliminate the pattern again. Economists say that patterns in the stock market disappear as a result of an efficient competitive market. Although the evolution of stock prices is jagged and unpredictable, it is exactly the description of this jagged path that lies at the foundation of investment theory. Much effort has been put in trying to describe what a stock price has been in the past and what we should expect it to be in the future. After all, it is the sum of all these random movements that determines in the long run the final stock return. And this is exactly where the science of dust particles and theory of stock market meet. At the beginning of the 20th century, mathematicians came up with the idea that the same way dust particles are driven by many imperceptible collisions, the stock price is driven by many economic factors hidden in the market. In the last decades, both people from academia and quantitative analysts apply the concept of Brownian motion in order to develop models to price stocks and other financial products. Probably the most famous of these models is the Black-Scholes equation, developed by Fisher Black and Myron Scholes in 1968. This equation was not only worth the Nobel Prize in economics, but it also led to an astonishing boom of derivative investment products. Nowadays, the options market alone is worth trillions of dollars, 
in the order of the GDP of countries like Germany and Japan. And of course, the application of the theory of Brownian motion is not limited to the derivative market alone. For example, every time banks lend their money to companies, they need to estimate the risk that some of their borrowers default and won't be able to pay the money back. There are several models that banks can use to predict the probability of default of a borrower, and some of the most sophisticated models are based on the theory of Brownian motion. Or again, suppose you want to invest your money, but you are not sure on which stock you should invest. What you want to know is the risk of the different investments. This risk is assessed with a parameter, the volatility, which is basically a measure of the fluctuations of the investment return. In most cases, volatility is estimated based on the theory of Brownian motion, and sometimes is everything you need to know to decide how to manage your portfolio and find your path to success. And this was our today's smart fun fact. So, next time that you open the curtains and see dust floating around in the air, just remember that in the random movement of a small dust particle lies the secret of all Wall Street. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested in more of these videos, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.